10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, are off the pad and on our way to space once again with successful liftoff from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1. Right now Electron is travelling at over 500 kilometres an hour and is passing 3 kilometres in altitude. Very soon Electron will approach max Q or maximum dynamic pressure, that moment when forces are at their greatest on the launch vehicle. Let's listen in for the call from Mission Control that Electron has passed that phase. Vehicle is supersonic. Approaching Max Q. Cleared Max Q. There's the call out. Electron has successfully passed through Max Q. Propulsion is continuing nominally on the first stage as we approach the next event in Electron's ascent. Altitude is 30 kilometers, speed is 1.3 kilometers per second. AOS Chatham Station. First up, the nine Rutherford Save engines will throttle down standby. before Maybe shutting off right completely, right. otherwise known as main engine cutoff or MECO. Shortly afterward, we'll see separation of the first and second stages, followed quickly by ignition of the single Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage. 15 seconds to go. As you've seen, we've had a successful MECO stage separation and second stage engine ignition. Next, we'll be coming up on fairing separation. This is when the two halves of electrons fairing separate and fall away in preparation for payload deployment. Fairing Shatterson succeeded. And there it is, you saw a flash of it on your screen. The fairing has separated, clearing the way for payload deployment coming up in approximately 50 minutes from now. Meanwhile, stage two is continuing well to orbit, carrying the kick stage and the monolith satellite. Now for one of the events of uh, the launch events unique to Electron, the battery jettison. The fuel pumps in Electron's Rutherford engines are powered by batteries. But once those batteries are depleted, it's just added weight that we don't need to carry all the way to orbit. So we swap out the depleted batteries for a fresh new Throttle one to keep Electron's second stage going all the way. We call this manoeuvre battery hot swap battery and it's coming up next. Confirmed. And there it goes, you will have just seen it falling away, meaning that Propulsion battery hot swap has been completed. Around two and a half minutes to go until the kick stage separates, setting us up for payload deployment later in the hour. Electron's second stage is now approaching SECO, or second engine cutoff. Much like main engine cutoff, the stage two Rutherford will throttle down before the kick stage separates ahead of payload deployment. We are now 8 minutes and 13 seconds into flight and everything is looking great for payload deployment in approximately 45 minutes. Guidance is in terminal, 20 seconds remaining. Stage 2 shutdown. Stage three separation confirmed. And minimal tens for orbit achieved. And that confirms Electron's second stage engine has shut down and the kick stage and second stage have separated. 
So the Kick stage will now enter what we call a coasting phase while it's in an elliptical orbit before its Curie engine ignites to circularize the orbit ahead of payload deployment. Now, we won't have a live view video feed from Electron of payload deployment on this mission, but we will stay with you on this webcast to bring you a simulated view of that happening. We'll take a bit of a break on the webcast now, but we'll be back with you closer to payload deployment to listen in on those final moments from Mission Control. Payload deployment is expected to take place at about T plus 52 minutes, so we'll see you back here then. Welcome back to the webcast of Rocket Lab's 21st Electron mission. It's a little chilly up here. If you're just joining us, we have had a successful liftoff and Electron's kick stage is now in an elliptical orbit around Earth. We're coming up to the Curie engine ignition on the kick stage. It's the small but mighty 3D printed engine that maneuvers the kick stage into a circular orbit in preparation for payload deployment. And Curie has started. And there you have it, the Curie engine has ignited and the burn is underway to circularize our orbit. This burn has a planned duration of about 50 seconds, so let's listen in to hear for a successful engine cutoff after that. And Curie engine cutoff confirmed. And that is Curie engine cutoff. Next up is payload deployment of the monolith satellite for the United States, the United States Space Forces Space Test Program. Let's listen in for confirmation. Six hundred, Perry G six hundred, inclination thirty six point nine nine seven. And payload separation confirmed. So there we have it. Welcome to your new home on orbit, Monolith. That completes our 21st Electron mission and officially brings the count of satellites deployed by Rocket Lab to 105. Congratulations and thank you to our customers at the United States Space Force and the Space Test Program. It's a privilege to be entrusted with deploying your spacecraft safely to orbit.